Okay, this is N2LEN with another quick video clip on tuning duplexers. Okay, um, I'm going to pass over the actual uh, iPad to um, my son. So basically, we're going to be tuning a set of duplexers. Uh, this particular set right here is um, actually a throw together. It's, um, parts from an old repeater uh, tuned up fairly well the, these three uh, white cans are uh, Wacom WP 678s and these are the R1s which you could see why the rods are down uh, pretty far down the one that I, I was missing one I had only three and then this actually is a decibel product DB 4076 uh, and you can see the in, um, I have it on the high side um, setup. We're going to go through the setup, uh, the actual test. Um, get the uh, light out of there. The actual test service monitor is a um, Hewlett Packard uh, HP 8920. If you can come around and go straight on the screen. That's it. We're going to go ahead and uh, set up the HP 8920 uh, for tuning duplexers. And uh, of course, this has the spectrum analyzer and the tracking generator option. So basically, to set this up in order to test duplexes, the first thing that you need to do is you need to take both of your cables and you have to we're going to, you know, normalize and set this for zero. Let me just go ahead and get um, a barrel in here. We'll switch this in a second. Okay. And what you want to do first is you want to make sure that your antenna in cable and your duplexer out cable are actually screwed together uh, before you get started. So then basically the procedure on this, you could back up a little bit so you could see the actual buttons. Okay, so what you want to do, and this is taken from page uh, 223 of the Hewlett Packard uh, HP 8920 applications manual. You want to, uh, on the test set, you want to hit the preset key and as you could see the screen, and then what you want to do is you want to um, select Spectrum Analyze. You can come in now on the on the screen now, nice and straight. And I'm going to come into Spectrum Analyzer, which is right there, and you want to select that. And then you want to uh, go to the controls and move down to controls, and you want to select Antenna. And then from there, you want to enter the center frequency, which for this particular duplexer, we're going to do... Um, We'll do the high pass first, which is 449.500, and we'll hit enter. We're going to do a reference level of negative um, 10 dBm, and we'll put a span of uh, 10 megahertz. Once you do that, you want to go back to controls and select main. Uh, come up to RF generator and hit RF generator and this is going to give you the option if you come back to controls to select the tracking generator which is right there and that turns on the tracking generator and then you want to go back to controls and select RF gen and then you want to scroll down to uh, auxiliary and you want to select Aoni and then save B and this is going to normalize and put the cursor dead center at the top and then you want uh, A minus B and then from the controls you're going to select auxiliary and then you're going to go up and you're going to select main and now the actual service monitor is ready to be hooked up so basically we're going to come over to the duplexers and the the way that this is going to be set up is uh, pretty let me go ahead and just take this off, put on the correct adapters. Hold on one second while we do this. Okay, take this off here. Get 
these adapters on. There we go. Take this one off. What's good about these adapters from these adapter kits is you can literally have any type of connector that you need literally on the spot. Okay, let me get the end connector back on here. So you can see actually how everything just comes together. Okay, now, the way that we want to set this up, now these duplexes are already tuned. I'm not going to go through the tuning process. I just want to show you. So basically, the antenna in is your antenna port on the duplexers. And then, of, and then what we're going to do is the duplex out is going to feed the high frequency input of the cans, which is 449 500. And if you go back to the screen, get right in the middle of it, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and connect it up. And right there, you could see the curve and the peak. Right here, you, you notice that it's showing a um, insertion loss of negative 1.41 uh, dBm. Uh, and this is the center frequency, which is your pass frequency, 449.500. When we go ahead, get in a little closer. Good. Let me get this light out of here so we can see the screen. Can you try to get it straight? Perfect. We're going to go ahead and switch over. I'm going to bring, come over to the center frequency. We're going to show you the reflect, which is 444.500. And there is the reject. And you could see we're down to negative uh, 65, 67 uh, dBm. Uh, we'll go back to the pass frequency of 449. And let's... Um, go ahead and bring the span over and let's make that 20 megs so now you could really see the pass frequency of 449 500 and the reject frequency of 444 500 and you could uh, flip it around and you could do the same thing 444.500 and there you go. Here's the pass frequency and here's the reject. Okay, now we're going to come over to the duplexers and we're now going to swap around the um, the duplexers and remember always on the other end. So if we're tuning the high pass, you want to make sure that you have a 50 ohm dummy load on the low pass side. You always have to terminate the opposite end. Um, these are pass band, pass reject duplexers. If you come on the top here, you could actually see on the top of the duplexer, here is your main course invar rod, and here is your fine course, your fine tuning for the reject or the notch. So you would do your course adjustments, get that peak, and then you would flop over to the, uh, the notch frequency, and then you would set your notch for the lowest possible um, inverted V, or V actually. If you come over here, you could see, here we are, here is the pass frequency of um, 449.500, and there is the reject. Let's switch it around once again, bring in the pass, 449.500, and now you could see it swing around. So here is your pass frequency of 449.500, and your reject. Now what you want to do is you want to really try to get the same graph, the same specs on the reverse, on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and switch back to the low side which is 444.500 and we're going to switch the cables around. So we just come over here and we're going to take off the, the dummy load, the termination and then we're going to switch over and the antenna port always stays connected because now we're just going to switch over 
to the low pass side. And if you go right over to the screen, you could see the pass insertion loss of just about the same negative 1.42 dBm. I want to come in straight on it. And uh, let's go over and move the span back over to 10 megs. And let's uh, do the, ref the notch frequency, which is the high pass. We're on the low side now, 449, 500. And then you could see, there you go, and we're at minus 67, just like the high pass side. If you want to do a 20 meg split to see them both, there you go. You could see your pass frequency, which is 444. Dot 500 on the low side, and there is your notch frequency of 449 500. And we'll come back and just flip that around 445 uh, 444. Dot, hold on one second, let me clear that out 444.500. 444.500. And there you go, you could see the flip. There is your pass frequency right on top, your center frequency, and your notch. When you're tuning flat pack duplexers you can see them right up here on the wall uh, back up a little bit okay now the, on flat pack duplexers you're not going to get the same type of pass peak as you did on the band pass ba, ba, uh, pass band pass reject you could see that there's, you, you basically were looking for the same insertion loss and then when you look at the pass on the, this is the high pass side, 447275. This is the low pass of 442275 on the opposite side of the duplexes. If you look up the top picture, you could see the termination of the, of the dummy load right on the low end. And then same thing, antenna input, uh, duplex out, 447275. And then we switch the duplexer, uh, the actual dummy load, and the, uh, the duplex in for the low side. When you do the notch, here is the, this is the high pass, and then we're notching out the low pass frequency of 442, and you could see we're at 63, and then when you come over here, and you're looking at the low pass, and we're notching out the high frequency of 447, we're at 60.05. So basically, with the, you could back up a little bit, with the flat pack six cavity cell wave duplexers like the TDN 7404, you're not, normally you're not going to get that peak like what you get when you're tuning pass band, pass rejects. Okay, this is N2LEN. And we're saying, hope you have a good evening. Best 7-3. N2LEN, out.